Trimble Connect Desktop allows you to combine 3D building information models into one collaborative environment. You can view and manage the models offline, or you can easily annotate and share comments with others through the cloud. Let's start by accessing the Trimble Building project. We'll double click on the project icon, and here we can see in the Explorer view all of the different folders where models and files are available online. We can either browse locally to files and models on our computer and upload them here to the project, or we can easily download files that are already on the project in the cloud. As models are downloaded, they're then assimilated into the project locally here on your desktop. This allows you to work offline at any time. If you simply go over to the 3D view, you'll be able to view those 3D models here within the 3D viewer. At this stage, we have the architectural and civil model displayed. Rather than having to navigate through the folder structure to find your models, you can easily combine models into model groups. Here you can see underneath the design models group, we have the civil, architectural, MEP, and structural model all combined together. Then underneath the structural assemblies, we have individual IFC files for each of the structural steel assemblies. Now let's go ahead and turn on the design models group, and then we'll go to the 3D view tab. Here we can see all of the models combined. We can easily zoom in and zoom out. We can easily pan. We can rotate around the model, as well as look around. We can also control the visibility and representation of each model. We can either turn the entire model off, such as turning the civil model off here, or on the architectural model, we can actually change the transparency as well as set a standard color. We can also choose to turn the grids off of the structural model. In cases where models are not aligned or at the same scale, you can easily go to the information properties and you can change the origin, rotation, or scale, and you can either do this numerically or by picking and snapping directly in the model. Once the visualization has been set and you've zoomed into the correct location that you'd like to save this view, we can easily come down here and say, save view. You can also add this to your dashboard. When I then go back to the data tab, you'll see that this saved view is now here in my views list. This makes it easy for you to get access to specific locations and visualizations in the model that you'd like rather than having to go through the steps that you previously saw me do. We can easily clip through the building to see interior spaces and isolated locations. We can do this floor by floor or through sections in the building. We can also zoom to and review individual objects in the model. Here I've selected this slab. We then also see in the objects list on the right all of the other slabs that are in the model. We can easily select all of the slabs, and then we can hide all other objects. Now we're only seeing the slabs in the model. We can then return and show all objects. If we select the slabs again, we can also hide the slabs and show only everything else. Let's go ahead and zoom into this beam. We can also go ahead and view its properties. Here we can see that this is a W18 by 55 beam. Here we clearly have a clash in the model. Let's go ahead and add some annotations to identify and call out this clash. We can then store this view and these annotations to a to-do. We can select who we'd like to assign this to, whether it's a specific user or a group. We can then set the due date, as well as a priority and status.
The project stakeholder that the class was assigned to will then be able to go ahead and view this to-do, double click on the thumbnail image, and will be zoomed into that location and shown the annotations in the model. Clash sets that were defined in Trimble Connect Web can be visualized and reviewed here within Trimble Connect Desktop. If I select this specific clash symbol, we can see here that there's a clash between the steel beam and the MEP electrical tray. We can also measure dimensions here within the model. Let's go ahead and measure the size of this opening. Using Trimble Connect Desktop, you can see how simple it is to review and manage your 3D building information models in one collaborative environment. You can then either view those models here offline on your desktop, or you can add annotations and collaborate on those models and then share that information through the cloud with other project stakeholders.